next week. We will talk about that, but there are some scenarios that might play out for them to get a six seed instead of a seven seed, but they will not finish below seven. Averaging 21 and a half points per game. Clinton in this zone, gonna try to slow the drive down, but you see we're getting there already. We talked to head coach Brooke Wyckoff before the game, and she had said that the defense obviously has been a point of emphasis, but it's also how they play. Ruby Whitehorn left wide open there. Whitehorn has elevated her game in her second year, especially on the rebound game, averaging five rebounds a game. Make things a little bit difficult for them to get the ball to her in the post. Latson with a little hesitation, now takes it down the lane and lays it up with the left hand. Better at finishing through contact than Tania Latson. Well, and she came into the ACC, as you see her get the steal here, ready to play against that contact as a freshman. Turnage, corner three. Yeah! A hot start for Florida State. Confident in that shot. Nice extra pass there. Good catch. Good form. Some records that could be broken here today. Nice feed from Bajetti and a better block, though, from Ruby Whitehorn. Whitehorn with those long arms. And she'll play the post here, and you'll see Robinson will move outside. As you see, Whitehorn there, nice drive. Just so smooth, covers so much space. A running back down the lane. All four points for Clemson from Ruby Whitehorn as Timpson gets a friendly roll. KK Timpson, the junior from Edison, Georgia. Another kid that people don't talk about enough. Take talk about away there. all the time, but KK Timpson is very important to Florida State. Maria Gordon trying to feed it. Timpson with the reverse. First points of the game. And all four points coming from Ruby Whitehorn in this game. Enyang can make them from that spot, and she does there. Eno Enyang. There's a mismatch there with Enyang. They need to look at her. Whitehorn coming off the screen, and it's good. Ruby Whitehorn's feeling it today. So both teams using their bench early on in this one. Roush, the triple, is good. Treadwell, the offensive rebound, the putback no good. Deshada Harris looking to push. Roush, transition three. It's good! She also played a huge role in Michigan's Elite Eight run a couple of years ago, but Amaria Gordon with the answer on the other end. The free throw line jumper is good. Lead back up to five for the Knowles. Harris steps into a three and drills it. You mentioned rebounding too, Helen. A couple of offensive rebounds for Clemson. And Harris! Two for two from beyond the arc in. And just a nice job coming up. Nobody stepped up on Harris off that screen. Miscommunication on that double. Eight on the shot clock. Whitehorn, that's her spot. And she hits it. Ruby Whitehorn, leading scorer for this Clemson team so far. She's got eight. It's really important. Florida State was one for six from three-point land in the first quarter. Whitehorn elevates. Roush, she's already hit two, and she's hit a third. Danielle Roush is feeling it. And then the long, the rebound, and the opportunity there for the three-point shot. 80 points, two off of those 76 possessions. Bajetti, a long three, and it's good. Sarah Bajetti on senior day. But drops down the three on senior day here. Inside the top. Over Virginia Tech in January. And she started out struggling points. earlier in the year with a three-point shot, but you know, like you said, toward the latter oh. part of the year. And they've been good shots. It's not like they've taken terrible shots you know, at the basket. Robinson posting up on Timpson. And there is KK Timpson with her 79th block of the season. What you see here. Yeah, you, you get stuck <laughs> like that. It's, it's not happening. <laughs> Potential for breaking records here today. If you can get a double-double, it would be the most in a single season in program history at 16. What a baseline drive from Amaria Gordon. Three to shoot. Amaria Gordon with the ball. Gordon floats it up, and it's good!
Johnny Spurlock Welsh will decide, oh, yeah. but that looks like yeah. it is out of the hand of uh, Omaria Gordon in time. And let's keep an eye. You didn't really see much from Latson there. She yep. wasn't able to get the ball in her hands and get downhill. There's a there's probably the first design oh, we, play. We were just talking we about seen. her not having. Well, it's a tough one, but Jetty's guarding you. You're not going to get. She gets over those screens on the ball. Jumper falls for Michaela oh. Elmore, who was coming off a season high 17 points. Of course, last in the 2023 Rookie of the Year in the ACC last year. Oh, oh and swat from Timpson. But there to put it right back is Whitehorn. That's oh. the second block of the game. Sarah Bajetti kicks it out to Latson. Latson on the dribble drive, lays it up and in with the left. And let's see if that. There's always an unexpected team in there that makes a run as well. Simpson with a friendly roll here at home. Down to a one-point lead for the Tigers. Harris adjusts in midair. Count the basket and the foul. Best invitation of Latson just getting downhill, getting to the basket. And Three of them coming from 33 in orange. Latson fading away in the paint. Kyle Latson with four points already here in this third quarter. Harris caught in midair, finds Robinson. And Oinyang baseline J is good. It's about where they are, 43%. Nice pass. Good feed. Timpson, count it. An opportunity for the N1. Final regular season game in the ACC for both of these teams. Harris snipes through a couple of defenders. Robinson's there for the putback. The ninth offensive rebound in this game. That was halfway down to Latson. Up the floor, tipped by Robinson, and Roush with the finish. And as Latson tried to get it down low to White, back the other way, Harris leaves it. Valentine, corner three. That's no good. Back the other way, here comes Amaria Gordon. Extra pass into the corner three is good. And we saw her taking that shot. Florida State could certainly use a couple extra threes to fall. Harris creating space for herself there, just pushing Amaria Gordon off the ball. Coach Wyckoff had made the point that you know, part of that is just because of the style that they play. Yeah, when you have that many possessions and you're trying to score that much, you're kind of sort of going to have to... Six on the shot clock. Robinson will try and connect. Hit the triple Amari Robinson. They're going to move Robinson out to the perimeter and she can shoot those threes. I think she's shooting 37% from there. That was a tough pass for Amaria Gordon to reset for the shot. Yeah, nice recovery there by Amaria Gordon. Danielle Rouse with 11. Whitehorn on the dribble drive. That's their play. They love to get Whitehorn and Dacianet Harris off that high ball screen. Ties of the floor. That was beautiful execution. You don't see Florida State crashing the boards. When you're behind, you should be crashing the boards a little bit more because then you give opportunities like that. Downhill for Clemson. It's just want to. They're not aggressive going after offensive rebounds. They're not aggressive boxing out. Clemson has been aggressive on both ends of the floor. As you see Whitehorn there coming out of the timeout, getting to the basket, compounding it by not being aggressive and allowing Clemson to get those offensive rebounds. Oh, what a crossover from Whitehorn. A lot of contact, no foul. Time on the clock still. Oh, nice play. The floater up for Whitehorn. Back to Robinson. Off to the left, but there's Roush. Gets her own miss and puts it back up and in. Danielle Roush with 13 points, but the answer with Latson on the other end. Been intentional about getting on the board for Clemson this season. Double-double now with 14 points and 11 rebounds. Nice Good play. Feed. Robinson finishes on the low block. A nice job there holding off Timpson. Perfect pass. That's in the game. And, and you're down by 10. Falls into the hands of Amaria Gordon. It's one on four. OMG does not care. And then OMG here. Nice little stutter step or throws the defense there. Nice layup. Latson now up to 13. Again, she had four points in the first half, did Latson. <laughs> and Amaria Gordon. Roush is calling for it in the corner. Harris gets 
an open lane. And it's blocked. KK Simpson's got three. Simpson doing a good, did a good job there helping off of that double screen. Second opportunity for your team. You did not see Florida State doing that. Roush has already hit three today. And there's Timpson with the defensive rebound and the crowd appreciative of it. Let's see what Latson does. Nice hesitation and straight to the rim. Harris lost it for a moment. Finds Valentine, corner three, count it. Naya Valentine with a massive three. Here inside the tuck. Well, the Florida State only had two bench points right now. They only have six in Clemson. They have 21 bench points. Back the other way now. Latson picks up the dribble. Bonner will try for three. And connect! Pajetti for three. Oh, well, and it's because they got rebounds and they gave themselves opportunities. Pajetti, they trouble, not a concern for either side. Just three team fouls as Whitehorn has it blocked. Takes it back up. Loose ball picked up by Latson. Station at Harris. Down the lane. Picks it up. Puts it up. And it's no good. We have overtime here at Florida State. 71-71. For them playing in Alexis Tucker. Good ball movement there. Kick out Pajetti for three. Yes! Sarah Bajetti had a huge three. And Florida State, again, trailed by 12 in this game, but... Whitehorn, nice post move, going baseline, gets Bonner in the air. A little bit different dynamic here. Now you have Ruby Whitehorn, who's the person who gets downhill, because you have Harris on the bench. And that's a technical foul. Clemson led by as many as 12 in this game. Robinson, oh, a strong take to tie it up once again. That's something she's added to her game. Aria Gordon, a lot of dribbling here. Five pick and Timpson who lays it up and in. Nothing here, Helen. Yeah, there was, there was absolutely nothing there. And Timpson just making herself available. Timeout advances the ball. Harris trying to get open. Gets the ball, going to the rim, and she lays it in! We are tied again in Florida State. Screen by Amari Robinson was tremendous to free her. Into the corner, but Jetty for three, short. Technical foul, two free throws, and she misses the first. And she makes the second. Florida State with a one-point lead with one second left. Start playing, but they, they were able to get it done. And Timpson makes the first of two. I, I got to say this, Helen. I can't help but feel they were on the verge of winning their last two games on the road this season for what has not been an easy season for them. And a called timeout with no timeouts left resulted in a technical. And Florida State... Is able to win it at home, and a celebration ensues on Senior Day.